I'm back here with another video on Ron's YouTube channel here where we discuss a lot of drone, drones, drone issues, drone reviews. Uh, we do every, every all, cover all drone things, drones here uh, at the YouTube channel. And today, uh, well, it's not the happiest subject we're going to talk about today, but we're going to, we're going to have to talk, folks. Uh, yes, it's a, always a difficult conversation, but we will have to talk today. And by that, I mean... Uh, remote ID. Now, if you don't know what remote ID is, it's um, it's kind of a uh, would you say a rule or regulation uh, set out by the FAA uh, to help uh, identify drones as they travel through the air. Um, you know, through I, I guess like a Wi-Fi system. So, in other words, you'll be able to reference the app, and you'll know you'll not only know where the drone is in the sky. Uh, but you'll actually know where the pilot is standing who's um, piloting the drone. Of course, this is good for, uh, you know, um, local authorities such as local police and things like that. But, of course, the worrisome thing to drone pilots is that, uh, you know, uh, any just anybody may be able to get your location or whatever and come. And, uh, like, a Karen could show up and harass you. Uh, thieves could sh show up and uh, rob you, steal you of your drone, your money, even... You know, uh, you know. Unfortunately, they could even commit violence to you all the way up to death or whatever. So there's a lot of, you know, downsides uh, to remote ID from the end user, and by the end user, I mean the drone flyer. But uh, it looks like it's something that's going to happen. It's already uh, been taken to court, and uh, a fed I believe a federal judge, judge, I believe it's a federal judge, already said that um, it's constitutional that as a drone flyer we have no. Um, you know, no guarantee of privacy when we're out flying a drone. So uh, it, it's going to happen. Uh, it doesn't look, you know, they lost in court already. So, um, and, and I'm getting to the good part here. Um, you, now, uh, September 16th was the, the day uh, for um, the, FAA, the FAA to lock down the uh, kind of the parameters of the remote ID. But um, it's been reported that uh, they may delay that until the 16th. To let some of the lesser drone manufacturers have time to get uh, figure out their path to be in a remote ID compatible because um, you know the best way to do it probably from everybody's end is to just do it through a firmware update. So that meant that drone manufacturers would have had to build some kind of a capability in uh, to drones in the last couple of years to be able to allow it to be updated just via, via a firmware update. Now, some drones that did not kind of get ready for this or older drones that may have been around before this technology was uh, thought of, they may have to use a third-party doggle plugged into the drone to be able to fly with a remote ID. And um, the, the thing is, the, the manufacturers have to kind of be, uh, they have to have their plans set, you know, by this September 16th and now maybe December 16th. But the end users, again, people fly drones, we do not have to, have our drones be ready for remote ID until um, September of 2023. I'll say, I think the 16th of 2023. Then when we take off that day, our drones will have to be, uh, you know, enabled for remote ID. So, uh, but anyhow, so where I'm getting with all this is uh, our friends over at uh, DJI, uh, the, one of the largest, probably not one, the largest uh, drone manufacturer in the world uh, for consumer drones anyways, they released a list of uh, seven DJI drone models that have been approved by the FAA for um, compliance with the remote ID rule. And here is the list. And uh, I'm going to start off with the drone right in the table here. The DJI um, uh, Mini 3 Pro is going to be remote ID compatible through a, uh, you know, something as simple as a, a, a you know, a update, you know, that so you will not have to... Uh, send a drone in or get a, a third-party doggle, you know, it'll just be remote ID through an up, update. Okay, the DJI Vada, the newest drone from DJI will be, uh, of course, um, remote ID compliant. The Air 2S, which is, that's great news, that's a drone that's, uh, you know, a, a little over a year old now, and but a favorite of many people, many people own that drone, so that's great that they made that compatible. The Mavic 3 and the Mavic 3 Cine are both uh, compatible, and a couple enterprise drones, the Matrice uh, 30, M30, and and the 
and the M the M30 thermal are all uh, remote ID compatible. Now that um, that doesn't mean that's it for DJI. Um, they're still uh, you know um, uh, uh, going through more drones of theirs uh, to be see if they are going to be remote ID compatible. So uh, that may not be the end of DJI's list. Um, they are seeking additional models, so um, and they, those models will be posted on the FAA website as they're approved. So you can keep checking there if you want to know, um, you know, which which drones are compatible. Now, um, I don't know about any other manufacturers that all tell uh, specifically in the U.S. A lot of people that you know uh, have DJI or choose to maybe choose not to fly DJI have the all tell drones such as the Evo Two Pro, which of course uh, there's a couple different there's a like a, a couple different generations of that now. I think there's a Gen 1, Gen 2, and a Gen 3 coming shortly. So um, well, I still don't know about those yet. Uh, again, maybe keep checking at the FAA website or maybe even uh, Ping All Tal if you own those drones. And, of course, they released just this year the uh, All Tal Nano and Nano Plus and then also the All Tal Nano Lite and Lite Plus. And again, I do not know about those at this at this time, whether they will be compatible through a simple uh, update or you have to go the Daga route. So I, when I get more information on that, um, I will certainly, um, you know, make another video and, and update you, um, you know, that. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of it on remote ID uh, at this point. Uh, if you get more information in, even more information on drones, um, you know, uh, I will update you. So the, the list of DJI drones I gave you safe. I mean, if you are worried about your other drones, uh, older DJI drones not being on the list, maybe it'd be a time to consider maybe selling them or moving them on before um, you almost say become obsolete because I, you'll know, probably, you know, you can go probably way back. You can probably go back to the, the Phantom 1 uh, if you have put that doggle on it. I mean, I'm make, I, don't, I don't know that. But anyhow, you can go, you can go back probably... Uh, you know, uh, many years if you want to go the doggle route, uh, uh, put it on the drone to, to have a third party doggle to make you remote ID compliant. So, uh, yeah, so there it is. I know, I, you know, it's not the, the happy subject in the world, but um, I guess, you know, we're since today I'm making this video the 17th, the day after the 16th. So, probably, you know, uh, a day less, you know, a, a year from now or a day less than a year from now. Um, Remote ID will be here unless it's delayed, you know, which, um, you know, I'm not saying it will be. I'm not saying it won't be, you know, but but who knows at this point. Remote ID has been kind of down a rocky road so far. Um, it's, you know, we've been talking about this for it seems like two, three years already. I mean, I may be pushing the three years, but at least two years. So and it's always an uncomfortable conversation. I mean, you know, a, a, a lot of people are unhappy, uh, you know, with the with the privacy aspect, the of course, the. FPV community is unhappy uh, with it uh, also uh, because it's tough for them for, tough for them to comply. It won't be just through a simple firmware update since a lot of these people build their own drones. But anyhow, I don't want to make this a long, long video. I just want to get that information out there, you know, to, to all people on my channel, which a lot of people on my channel are DJI flyers, so this information will, you know, help help them uh, a, lot, a lot of hope. And I do have some uh, all tell fans, and I yeah, if I find more information on the Altel drones compatibility, I will, um, you know, certainly, you know, pop in with another video. So that's it today on uh, Ron Brown's YouTube channel and the usual stuff. Uh, you know, thumb up the video if you got anything out of it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member. Um, What's the other one? Oh, ring that notification bell so you know when I put more videos up about remote ID and other drone topics. And there's also a thanks button there now, too. We could donate a little something to the channel, help the creator out, help me bring more products and accessories in here uh, for review and even, you know, more money to travel around and shoot drone videos in different locations. All I mean, them, any, any donation of money will go right back to the channel. Also, we'll leave affiliate links for the bidding through another drone down below. So actually, you know, it, I, I prefer you hit the affiliate links and, you know, uh, get something for yourself. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything more, and that helps the channel out tremendously also. Uh, so, okay, that's it. Um, have a great day, and uh, fly safe.